Hey, here is one of many of my not-so-slick video tutorials. No fancy intro or anything like that. Okay, this this tutorial is brief. It's uh, to show you how to resize images using Bridge. All right, I'm in Bridge here. You wouldn't know it right now because it says QuickTime Player up there. No, it says Bridge. Okay, so I'm in Bridge. This one is... Um, 2017 version of Bridge, but this is what I'm going to show you is common to Bridge of any version. So I've got some images in here uh, to work with. Um, if you're in one of my classes, you've seen me go through this already. But so I've got these images here. Each one has each folder has some pics in it, right? So I grab some images of clouds to use, and uh, just as a refresher. Um, in Bridge, you know, if you highlight an image, <clears throat> that image is previewed over on the right side. You see it over there where my cursor is going nuts. Below that, you see the pixel dimensions of the image, width versus height. You see the size of the file at 73 kilobytes. Quite small, right? Looks fine still, though. 72 ppi is the resolution. And it's an RGB, but it hasn't been, it says untagged here. I mean, it hasn't been uh, given a color space designation. Uh, I'm not going to get into that here, but I'll just let it go to, just to mention that that's there. It would be probably typically on the web it would be sRGB. But. Okay, and then uh, you have a bunch of other drop downs below that, and I just have file properties open. You know, it gives you some more information about that file, um, and you can look down that list. You know, aside from the pixel dimensions, it's telling you the inch dimensions there too. It tells you it's an 8 bit depth. I won't go into that very much. And in here too, you, if you're working in other areas, you could add data here, like copyright data and stuff like that. R really what I'm getting at here is how you take these relatively big images, like this is a thousand by 713, and downsize them to be used, for example, on a web page. But it could be for any reason you want to down downsize it. All right, so this image right here is a thousand by 713. The next one is 900 by 599. Next one is 1280 by 960, right? And these would all be too large, say you're working on a website. They're too large, really, for an image to be sitting inside a, a web page. So you, you'd want to make them smaller. Some of them, like this might work for the background image of a web page, but you probably want that to be larger, too, instead of that size. But anyway, here we've got these images. If you want to see them up close, select press the space bar, you can see it up close. If you want to see it 100%, click in the image and it zooms in, but it's already at it's already at 100%, so it's not doing anything. And I'm just using my arrow keys and I'm circulating between the images, right? And I press escape to get back to this view. Now let's say I want to make all of these images, I want to reduce their size, and I'm going to make them 400 pixels on the long side, you know, just a random thing. I'm, dimension I'm pulling out there. So I can go shift click and select them all. Then I go up into this top menu bar. It seems like in some ways you know it's not within this workspace. Uh, so you might wonder, you know, where are you going? But this is also part of bridge up in the very top. Right, and you go to tools <clears throat> and Photoshop and there are a bunch of things you can do here. Right? Um, but I'm focusing only on this image processor aspect. Right, so I select that. And hey, that's one of my pictures. Unintentional. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, that was not. I'll cover that up a little bit. All right. So here uh, we can do stuff like um, uh, change the location of where you want to save these pictures. So if you're if you want to save these off into a folder that's the site location for a website, as opposed to where the images are originally, this would be a good way to do that. All right. So actually. Well, I haven't created a site location. Well, maybe I'm going to do that, though. So I go here. You've got two options here. Save in the same location. So it'll save your reduced size images. Keeping the originals, but it'll save the reduced size ones in the same folder where the originals came from. It'll just put them in a folder called JPEG. We'll see that in a minute. So I could select that if I want them to be saved in the same location. Right? Next down is select the folder. 
And it doesn't seem like there's a button here really, but if you say, if you click on this select folder, then you get to a panel that allows you to navigate around and save your file somewhere. And I'm gonna quickly navigate to my folder that I wanna keep this in. So pardon me while I do that for a sec. Okay, and I'm gonna go um, in here I'm going to save them in this folder there. So that's where it gets saved. Uh, next block down, you've got the file type. And you have three choices. The top choice is JPEG, and that's what I'm aiming for here. But just to note, you could be saving them as PSD or TIFF, too. But I'm going JPEG. Quality of 12 is the highest. And honestly, you could probably do 9 in this case, and you're fine. You can see over to the right here, I have resized to fit. <clears throat> you can uncheck that or check it. And we're downsizing these images, so I'm resizing it. And I'm just going to put in here 400 width. And I'm going to keep the height 402. Um, you know, this if, if it were important that the height be the significant dimension I'm going for, then I would change that. And, um, I just keep them consistent between the two. It'll be fine because we're dealing with rectangles, so the width is the important dimension here. Right next to that is convert profile to sRGB. sRGB is the correct color space or profile for the internet. So if you're aiming for the internet, that is what you want to do. Like even if you're just uploading images to some uh, social media site, right? You want to. They'll ultimately become sRGB, um, but it's helpful if you set it yourself. You can kind of see what's going on there color-wise and all that. So I say run. Okay, it's running and it's going through those images. Pardon my Photoshop project here. I'll hide that. Okay, so if I had said save these images in the same location, this view in Bridge, we're back to Bridge now, uh, you would see a folder that says JPEG and you would see uh, the reduced size images in that folder. Right, but <clears throat> we want to look for these images in my new location. That new location is, uh, it's right there, right? So here is my folder now with the reduced size images. All of these three are 400 pixels on the horizontal dimension. You know, the width is 400 pixels, right? So it's pretty easy to do. Um, at this point, they're not optimized for the web, and technically speaking, that would be a good thing to do. But, you know, on the other hand, uh, they're really small already. That's 53 kilobytes. You know, they're all 53, 70 kilobytes on that one, right? So, um, they're pretty decent size-wise. That's very small. I think we're good. Okay, that's really all I wanted to show you here. Um, in case you can use that. So Bridge provides lots of opportunities for speeding up your workflow. That's just one of them. Okay, that's it.